Good morning, I will be with you in just a moment. If you are hopping in after July 2nd at 10 a.m., you might be watching the replay. Thanks for joining us. I'll be just a minute, just getting my uh, channels all set up and we will be ready to go. There we go. Almost there. Morning, Leslie. I'll be right with you. All right. Well, good morning. Nice to see you, Leslie. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a nice cup of coffee ready to go, and we'll start working on our project. I um, I know that today I put out a little a little hint about what we were working on today and it has to do with our pets and um, unfortunately I am on the way to the vets with my my little dog Molly this afternoon she I don't know I think she might have a little urinary tract problem so um, strangely enough I plan to do a pet prob project today and yeah I have to take her to the vet and see what's going on with her but I think she'll be okay for a little longer while I um, get this party started. Good morning, Cindy, how are you? Cindy, I think I, you had an idea of what we're doing this morning, but I don't think it's quite what you thought, but we'll see. So this is gonna be a pretty quick project. Um, I went down in my wood shop last night and I did a little cutout. And um, I think you're gonna like this. If you are a cat person, you will love it. If you are a dog person, I might be able to help you with that too. I uh, may continue this project in a, in a twist with a twist. Uh, maybe next week we'll do um, one with a dog on it. So let me turn my screen around to you and I'll show you what we've got going on. Um, and this is going to be a pretty quick, quick de demonstration today. So I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, um, while you're here, be sure to hit that sprinkle tab so that our friends and family can see what it is that... We get so excited about every morning, um, so hit that S-H-A-R-E tab. That is the best compliment you guys can give me if you share my videos. I said it. Ugh. All right, so let me grab my other screen, get that all going on here, and this should go here, and this should go here. All right, here we go. There we go. So last night I went downstairs and I cut out this little kitty cat silhouette. It's pretty nice. I think it's, I, I'm getting a little better with this scroll saw stuff. So I was real happy with the way it turned out. And um, there are a couple of things about this um, that I want to show you. First of all, if you wanted to hang this on your wall um, and you would like this in a bundle, and I'll explain a little bit more about the bundles to you, I can drill a little hole in his forehead. So that you can hang it. The other option is that I can make you a stand kind of like this one. This is actually from our board and base and it's not quite the right size um, to hold the cat up but you can also put it in one of these if you want to sit it on your shelf or on your table or wherever you like to put your cute little kitty cat. So we're gonna get going with some chalking and I'll show you what I have for this. So if you've ever had a cat, you know that they are a little bit unpredictable and wild, but fun. And I thought that this would be perfect for a cat. Cute but crazy. So, I have a story about a cat. I got my uh, mother-in-law a cat for Christmas, I think two years ago, two and a half years ago. And the cutest little thing ever, but because I picked her up and brought her in a car and gave her to my mother-in-law and freaked her out a little bit, I guess. She hates me, it breaks my heart because I love animals. So we're gonna make a cute but crazy cat. Oh, Leslie, you're a dog person. I'll admit, I am I think if I had a choice, if I had to only have one, and I only do have one right now, I would pick a dog, but I do love cats too. The only thing I don't like about cats is 
litter boxes and their claws. Otherwise, I think they're awesome. I've had a couple awesome cats. So I'm going to use uh, Cute But Crazy on this. And we're going to put a little bit up there to uh, make a collar for him. And um, we'll see how this turns out. So Cute But Crazy is the theme for the day. So I'm just going to remove this. Oops, I didn't write on the back. There's my marker. It's here somewhere. Somewhere. I thought I had it on my table. Here it is. Cute but crazy. All right, so if you guys are new and haven't watched me do a demonstration before, I always write on the back side of my transfers. It reminds me that after I've washed and dried my transfers, you can use them lots and lots of times. After you wash them and dry them sticky side up, you can replace them on this carrier sheet. And you always want to return them to the silky side of the carrier sheet. It is shiny and slick and the back side is dull and you don't want to put the, care, the transfer back on here because it'll stick really tight and be hard to get off. So writing on the back reminds me that I want to return it to that side of the, sh the shiny side of the sheet. Say that 10 times fast. Your husband's allergic? Oh no. Bye bye husband. <laughs> So, <laughs> I am going to fuzz this transfer. It is very, very sticky. And what fuzzing does, um, what you do is you lay it on a piece of fabric that would have a little bit of lint, like a towel, um, a t-shirt, your jeans, anything that has a little bit of lint that the sticky transfer can pick up to soften the adhesive. This one's super, super sticky. Um, I'm using a fuzzing towel from Chakachor. It is available on my website. And the other side is a microfiber, which is perfect for after you've washed your transfers. Um, you can shake the water off and dry them with a sticky side up and take good care of your uh, transfers for you. All right, so this is getting better. I'm gonna give it a couple more. Your husband's allergic to cats? I know. I think I would say, I'll miss you to my husband. No, I'm not, I wouldn't do that. Um, we've had cats. We've had a lot of cats, actually several. Um, my cats, I think my last cat lived about 22 years. She went on and on and on and on. All right, so there is cute but crazy. And I'm going to just pop this right on her body. I had to really play with this pattern that I made to make sure that it fit well. I don't want to go too low because I don't want it to go into the stand if I decide to use that. That looks pretty good. The Y goes off just a smidge. But it looks pretty good. What do you think? Cindy, do you have cats? I think you might. I'm going to move this just a little bit. It's just a tiny bit crooked. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna rub this down with a squeegee, make sure that it is nice and tight. That is right to the edge. Ah, I'm moving it one more time. Dogs are better. There's dog people and there's cat people. I have one dog. Yeah, poor Molly, she's not feeling good. She's uh, She's been a little not quite herself since we lost our other dog, her little, her, her brother. But she's been um, trying to go to the bathroom a lot and, like, often. I'm not going to talk about this on live, am I? She's not feeling too good. <laughs> she's also been getting sick when she drinks water. Just a dog, Cindy? Okay. I'm going to make a dog next week, and we'll do a dog because they're crazy, too. So I'm going to be using white chalk paste. I did come on earlier and stir this up. Add a little water because it was just a little thicker than I like to use it. Um, so now that it's just the perfect consistency, it feels kind of like uh, cake batter or sour cream, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna get a smaller squeegee for this one. So I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of that paste out and smooth it over the whole design. There is a screen that runs through everything. That's where you see the black coming through which is what gives you so much more detail than you ever would with a stencil. 
Um, if you have a machine that can cut stencil-y kinds of things for you, you might know that you have to go in there and pick out all the little uh, pieces that you won't be using for it. With Chuck Couture transfers, there is no weeding involved and they are reusable, which is a really great feature. So I'm just scraping off all the excess. You don't use very much paste when you're working with Chuck Couture paste. It is water soluble, goes on wet, dries hard in just a matter of minutes. And if you are using it on a non-porous surface such as this cat or metal, glass, um, anything nice and smooth that is not porous, you can wash it right off with water if you want to. So I'm going to peel this back while it's still wet. Molly needs a friend. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tempted, honestly. I've been trying to give her extra cuddles and spoil her a little more, but she just doesn't seem like herself, so I know something's not quite right with her physically. So here's our cute but crazy cat. I'm gonna find my dryer, dry this up, and then we're gonna embellish it just a little bit. Because that's what we do. The news is itchy. So I could just let this air dry for a little while, or you can dry it with a hair dryer. Um, if you're letting it air dry, this would be dry in about five minutes. But um, uh, I'm using a heat tool today, which is a very high, intense heat. You want to be really careful to keep it moving, not to burn your skin with it. But um, if you leave it in one place on your chalk too hard, it can actually burn your chalk, so keep it moving. My husband looked at this and he went, are you making a Halloween cat? Absolutely could, couldn't I? All right. That should be pretty good. Yep, that looks good. So when I uh, was growing up, we had, we had a cat named Troubles. She was a little tiger cat, cute as can be. And um, she had a couple litters of kittens and just, they were so much fun to have around. Kittens are usually born in one of our bureau drawers for some reason, or the closets. Um, but one of the things that my mom always did was she kept a bell on our cat because she didn't like them bringing mice in the house. <laughs> so this would the bells would scare the um, the mice away. They know she was coming. So I've got a little bell here that we're gonna use, and I also um, had a little piece of fabric that I cut into a strip. And I'm gonna make a little uh, kind of a tie dyed collar for her and attach a bell. So we'll keep the mice away. Kinda of don't know if I'd want her to keep the mice away or catch them. If they're in my house, I don't know. My son and his wife have a cat that yeah, that um, brought them a mouse. They live in Boston, in the Boston area. Brought them a mouse in their, their condo and um, dropped it in the bed with them and it was still alive. Is this gonna work? Yeah. Okay, so we've got our cat bell. Let's see. Actually, I might do it a little differently. Change it a little bit different. Yeah, that would be a cute Halloween decoration, wouldn't it? All right, just stretched it out a little bit here. But I'm gonna tie, I think I'm gonna tie the bell with a string because I wanted to have a knot in the front. I like this light color here. I don't want a really big bow, just tying. Just a little tie. It's like a hippie cat with a tie dye, huh? Hippie cats. Thank you, Leslie. So, yeah, if you guys want, I will do a dog next week. But if you are interested in a cat bundle, I can definitely work on that for you. Just write bundle in the comments. So, the way that I'm going to work the bundles for this project is that, sorry. Oh, excuse me. I can get a bundle with everything that you see here, the cat, the transfer, the paste, the tie, the bell, all that good stuff, and a mini squeegee. Your paste for 24. And if you just want the cat in the base, I can do that as well. So just let me know what you would like and I'll make it happen. This 
to be a great gift for the cat person in your life. And we gotta get that bell on there, so I'm just gonna tie it on with a little bit of string. This one. Look at this, I've got strings coming out from all directions here. No idea which one to use. <laughs> okay, most of this you're not gonna see. Cute, easy, and quick, you got that. You would like one, Leslie? Leslie, write bundle if you want a bundle. I saw yes, please, and I don't know if I asked a question <laughs> and you answered or you'd like a bundle. Let's see if this will go through. Yeah, it will go through. All right, I'm going to tie this little bell on my kitty. So cute. Maybe I'll leave those two. Hippie cat. Do you guys remember the um, show Friends where they were they uh, Lisa Kudrow sang the smelly cat song? <laughs> All right, there we go. There is our adorable little kitty. So quick and easy, guys. Christmas is here before you know it. If you have a cat person in your life. Again, I'm going to make my, I, this is actually from our board and base um, surface from Chalk Couture, but my husband said that we can absolutely make them so that the chalkboard fits in there a little bit better so you can sit it on your shelf. Let me turn this around so you can see it all full. There we go. So here it is. Ta-da! What do you think? Yeah, that picture's in the way, huh? Cute but crazy. Short and sweet, now to bundle, yes to making a dog, okay. All right, I will make a dog. If you are interested in my cat bundles, though, please let me know. Um, if you are not in my VIP group, I want you to make sure that you put VIP in the comments because I'm planning a really, really fun week um, with Christmas in July this month. Still working on those dates to be exact. I've got a few things I'm working around, but I think you're gonna wanna be there. So write VIP in the comments and I will add you in. And we will have some really fun Christmas stuff happening. So there's my Cupid Crazy Bundle. Let me know if you'd like one and I will make sure to make that happen. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you again tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.